This is a story of Matthew Shepard, a 21-year-old who was tortured and murdered because of his sexual orientation. While at a nightclub one night, two men approached Matthew to offer him a ride home. He accepts, but unfortunately, he was misled and brought out to a secluded area. The two men forced him out of the car, tied his wrists together, and continued to drag him towards a fence. One of the men then pulled out a pistol and continuously beat Matthew across the face and over the head. The two men enjoyed the fact that Matthew was suffering and in pain and continued to strike him until Matthew's face was covered with blood. When we saw him, it was, it was like he didn't even look like Matt. He had stitches all over his face and his was swollen and bandages all over his head. And when the men were satisfied with the devastation they had caused, they drove away, leaving Matthew there, tied to the fence, gasping for breath, clinging to life, waiting for death. The only place that he didn't have any blood on him on his face was what appeared to be where he'd been crying down his face. When the sun rose, Matthew was thought to be a scarecrow, but the blood became apparent to a cyclist passing by 18 hours after he was first attached to the fence. When Matthew was discovered, he was rushed to the hospital. Matthew remained unconscious at the hospital until he was eventually taken off of life support and slowly drifted away from this world. As a court date approached and the trial proceeded, protesters surrounded the courthouse with signs that read, God hates Matthew. Ignoring the crowd, Matthew's friends and family dressed in white and used large angel wings to stand in front of the protesters, covering their hateful signs. Because Matthew's parents wanted things to end with peace and not anger, the two men's lives were spared. Matthew's parents did not submit to weakness. Instead, they were strong enough to spare the lives of two men who took their son's life. Remember Matthew. Matthew Shepard, 1976 to 1998. Be who you are and say what you feel because those you mind don't matter and those you matter